everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. And say hello to trainworld.com. Can't put a price on your toys. I'm just gonna be careful not to cut my hands. That would suck. There you go, Addison. You got these little Wait to see the video. hoppers. So, just put my way here in the chair. Ooh, that's just that nice. Oh, yeah, that way, yeah, Paul doesn't bark. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, yeah, that's fine. And you all don't want to see that, do you? <laughs> Boat sound. These are two different decoders. Two quick painters tape, really? Okay, so this right here is what's going to go into my 765. Ah, my steam engine. How can you fit that in N scale? That's way too big for N scale. But I bought that to go my tender along with my, yeah, right here. So this is my 8 pin decoder. Making sure it gets the part number just fine. You can see the 8 pin, and then this other one. And this is going to go in my 1989 hair unit, the SD70ACE. Uh, I think it's an EMD. And the CSXs I got are GEs, except for the ones that got the fans on top. So I got those two. Man, this thing's sharp. It's actually a saw, but... I know. I'm just using it as a knife. That works. Gotta help. Here's <laughs> the first one that I can pop in these. Get your bill receipt out of the way. I ordered like two decoders, two speakers, and 32 piece, 35 pieces of flex pack. So, what, what kind of speakers do you order anyway? Smoke sound. Are they? Cube speakers. Uh, um, what size, what size uh, are they? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> That's a laugh. So here's my brother's cube. Speakers that he got. Micro speakers? Uh, they're 11 millimeter by 15 millimeter. Mm -hmm. They're square 8 OHM. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know what metric is. I'm not used to the standard or metric stuff. I'm used to. Well, uh, well, it is made by Look Sound. It's not bad. It'll fit my uh, Enscale engine just fine. Other micro speakers. Yeah, that's why I said they'll fit my uh, 89 engine just fine. But you can see he bought two of the same boards right here because these are going into your GP40 2s. Yep, I can't wait. That's gonna be fun. Now, his this is your track. Uh huh. Finish the stage in the yard. You get 25 pieces of total. So you got track right there. Say hello, Addison and Mike. Hello. Ooh. A box inside of a box. Atlas, New York, made in China. It's gracious, that's pretty. Right there, that's 10 pieces right there. I bet there's more. Yeah, there is. There's 25 pieces in that box. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> hey, perfect timing, Aston. Thank you. <laughs> so here's my brother's chassis system. There's what it sounds like. 
So all I gotta do is hit the light. Light comes on. Oh, here's the bell. Not bad out of a small speaker, eh? And here is startup. Nice, nice. Okay, let's Okay, so what you do is you plug the 8 pin decoder right into it just like that. As soon as you pull the old one out, pop the new one in, you got these four screws in the corner of the tender. I'll get to that in a minute. So then you just slide the quarter in, you got your little speaker at the top, like that. It may not be the prettiest wiring touch up, but it works. So all you gotta do is then once you get your speaker in place, I use one of them like a two-sided uh, stick tape type of thing. Uh, I don't have any more to show you. Uh, that kind of sucks. But anyway, all you do then when you're done, just carefully close it back up, tip it under really carefully like that. Then you need to take your long screws and put them back in the four corners, and that's it. You're done. Now what I'm doing over here is I'm replacing my light. So here's the light that was in it. It actually was working. It actually fell out. So I got my RC truck one. It's not LED. It's just a regular bulb. Hooked to that up because, uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. So it has that little play connector to the headlight. So I'm like, I want a better headlight. So I'm like, all right, so I tried it. So now I'm gonna do is kind of put a little bit of hot glue on top of the bulb or around the side of the bulb and I'm gonna sub it right in there with the weird tweezers. That's the only thing that works at the moment. And I tried it, it works. It's much brighter, and I can't wait to show it when it's done. But that's about it, and that's all you have to do. So, and then when you program this, make sure both of them are attached, and they're both on the track, the uh, programming track, and that's it. You're done. Ooh, sounds good. This is the closest sound I can get for the look sound until they do a Brickshire sound. So, look sound, if you're watching this. Get on the ball of the sound, please and thank you. This is the, uh, what engine is this? The Sioux Line 1003282 steam engine. This is the closest one I can get with the horn or whistle. I love that. Okay, so anybody, I took my part because my wires were hitting my dash or uh, custom dry shafts. Yep, these are custom dry shafts. <laughs> my brother did this for me because, like I said, MTH did not sell this stuff for parts. So I think he reused, I forget what dry shafts he used to fit into here and the motor. So now she spins. It looks crooked, but it's really not. I guess it is kind of crooked. But it don't look crooked in there. It looks, oh, I guess it is kind of crooked. Shoot, I think I did that on accident. Because the motor came apart a little bit and I had to re-glue it. I used my super glue and yeah, I think I got it crooked. Oh well, it still works. It's okay. But these are the little straws that you get for the uh, Hawaiian punches. The silver, you know. But I think the one the, some of the wires are touching, so I'm going to try to bring this up and I noticed the purple wire has some string to it so I'm gonna try to make a little custom thing that sits on here that covers up the dry shaft like a little cover that way these ain't touching that's what I'm gonna do but anyway um, how you hook up a look sound decoder board it's pretty easy you got your one track lead coming from here to the one side the other side and then your motor 
And before you put the shell on, so like right here's where your motor goes. Right there. These two right here. And you got one ground on top of the motor. And then our feet come off the motor up to it. And then, and then over here is your speaker. Doesn't matter which way, hook it up. It works the same. And that's it. And then your front track right here. These are for your light or lights, the ground. And then over here is your disc lights. That's all we have hooked up. We got resistors and then the grounds over here and everything works just fine. That's how you hook up a DCC decoder. Uh, looks on board. It's pretty simple. Oh, I'm here messing around my 765. Later I'm going to read number it to 757. I made the bell a tad bit louder. The whistle, oh my goodness, I freaking love it. That is awesome. I forget what F3 is, I think that's oil burner, I believe. Oh, right, so cool to hear that, and that's the coal shoveling by itself. It's got the feature, the water. F4 is my grade crossing, and if I go to F5, that'd be my steam. Yeah. And I turn it off. F6 is my water refill. Oh, that's all awesome. I think it was 7 is. To look. But this thing is equipped with an air horn. Seriously, Train World, you can buy the ESC programmer for only 140 bucks. Probably have 12 bucks to ship it, which ain't bad. But what? Because eBay, they almost went 160 or higher. Damn, they are selling like hotcakes. Because <laughs> they got nine left. Guys might want to hurry up and buy some stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the video too. I forgot to put this. Somehow my video got corrupted. So now I got to add on to it. Sorry for this video being so long. But I'm going to try to make this one quick. And then tomorrow I'm going to make a speed match video. I forgot to do it because the video got corrupted. And I'm like, oh man. I was going to keep doing it. Try to get doing it. I keep forgetting. So I got my one CSX over there. Uh... A 78 or a 7765, I think it is. That's gonna get done. The 901 is close by my 3D printer. And Michael's two CSXs are done. Our chassis system, sorry. So this video here is just like my horn, and I'm gonna take it off and show you what I've done. That is so cool. The bell. The headlight, disc lights, I think three is the cab doors, but I don't think four does anything. 
Have the alarm bell. But here's the startup. Oh, I love the startup. I don't think it's bigger than those. That is so awesome. So now I can just pop this bad boy up. And there's my speaker now. And uh, you can barely see it in there. That is the box I made. So the box goes pretty decent size on both sides. From right here, goes part way up, and it keeps the wires off of it. Which is really great. I have to trim, I'm gonna trim these wires up to make them kind of smaller so I the speaker fits in there easier and that's pretty cool so nine does that noise I don't know what it was Sounds so good though. Man, that's awesome. I can actually enjoy my engine again. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna do another video, open box video of a look sound decoder for my N scale. Miniature 1989, I can't wait for that. It's gonna be awesome. And then have it run run my Insco layout. It's gonna be so awesome. So make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's gonna be a not the open box video, but I'm gonna be doing a video tomorrow on it for the uh, open box look sound decoder with that one. But tomorrow I'm gonna do a video of me speed matching this engine with my CSX engine. That way I can run all three engines all at once. That's going to be so awesome. So stay tuned.